to Doxilene, fellow educators in this course. Good evening, everyone. I am Amorel Aresta, and my assigned topic is the critical turn in human resources development. Different philosophers have different definition of human resources development. Leonard Nadler defined HRD as a series of organized activities conducted within a specialized time and designed to produce behavioral changes. The critical turn was introduced by Ulrich in 1996 to suggest the movement of turning away from a conventional conception of rationality and away to critical thinking to find critical solutions to the unavoidable questions of rationality. The discussion includes a description of theory, understanding the dynamic relationship of theory to practice, and an examination of the need for critical theory in a practitioner focused field. Theory underlines practice. According to Brockfield in 2010, a theory is a framework of ideas guiding practice which generalizes beyond individual experience, is predictive, and covers a category of events. What is the importance of theory to practice? According to Brockfield, practitioners make judgments which are theoretical. The data that practitioners use can be complex or simple, and after analysis of data, this then will be used to predict future actions. Thus, practitioners generate theories in use to explain an event and to anticipate the consequences produced by similar events. Theory bridges research into praxis. Theories will help practitioners reevaluate their operating philosophies or values as a result of learning a new theory. Theories assist teachers and researchers in making decisions. Other critical paradigms used in HRD, such as feminist theory or critical feminist theory in Burama in 2002, aims to understand gender inequality. Feminist theory also focuses on the promotion of women's rights and interests. The social justice paradigm of Bird in 2014, acting as an advocate and social agent for change, program planners operate from an ethics of rights framework that all people have the universal right to be treated equally, according to Banks in 1987. And Queer Theory of Jedro and Mitzi in 2014 is a conceptual framework that conveys a double emphasis on the conceptual and speculative work. Feminist and queer theories are useful framework for HRD because they can assist scholars and practitioners to expand their knowledge about diversity and inform research and scholarship. The basic need for HRD is to develop competences in people at all levels in the organization. Critical human resource development was established as a distinct area in HRD. In 2004, Finwick said that HRD increases awareness of social issues create new avenues for collaboration within the field of adult education. For critical race theory, scholars' personal experiences of oppression must be told. The bottom line from the critical race theory paradigm is that radical change is needed in human resources development, curriculum, practice, and scholarship because racism is pervasive. That concludes my presentation. And thank you, everyone, for listening. Good evening.